Hey everyone, Craig here, uh, and welcome to WillYouPressTheButton.com. It's a free browser game that essentially asks you hypothetical questions, like a would you rather type of thing, uh, where you get a positive here on the left. Uh, as an example, you can jump twice as high and walk twice as fast without getting tired or hurt. That sounds pretty good, but it comes at the cost of some negative, uh, which is on the right here, so you will stub your toe once a week for the rest of your life. And if you hit the button, then you're like, that's worth it, I'll take the positive, negative consequences be damned, or you can choose uh, not to agree. I believe all these questions, or scenarios rather, are user submitted. And if you're wondering why I decided to just play a random browser game, uh, Maddie had an app on her phone that essentially asks the same questions, and we were having fun just, just goofing around and discussing uh, what our answers would be. And uh, in the chat, in one of my streams the other night, someone mentioned, oh, well, why don't you look at willypressthebutton.com? It's free. You can make a video out of that. So I figured, why not? So I'm just going to, uh, that seems worth it. Sure, I can live with a stub toe. And up here you can see the percentage of how many people said yes and press the button and how many didn't. So let's go through these and see what I'm willing to sacrifice for a personal gain. You become famous and wealthy for the rest of your life, but you die an agonizing, painful death at an unknown time in front of everyone, especially your loved ones. So I feel like you could avoid that, that negative consequence, if you just became a shut-in. If you just avoid all your loved ones, then they that scenario could never happen. So I feel like you could mess with the prophecy, but agonizing and painful. Like, if they throw a surprise party for you, you're dead, and it's gonna hurt a lot. Like a Final Destination movie. So, nah, 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 nah. I don't want it. I don't want it to hurt. I'll, okay, most people didn't. Okay. Uh, next question. You become invincible, but you lose the sensation of touch. Hmm. I mean, you're invulnerable. Which means you can't die. Or be injured. Like, you could get hit by a car. And you wouldn't even feel it. I feel like I could live without the sensation of touch. I mean, I say that having touch, but... I mean, I don't think I need... Like, I'm, I could feel that this thing is nice and soft. I, I feel like I could live without that, personally. So sure, why not? You get the car of your dreams, which I don't know cars very well, so I don't even know what it would be. But you have to sit and stare at it for six months before you can drive it. I feel like that would be worth it, though. Like, I already have a car that I can use to get from point A to point B, so I'll just use that for another six months. So yeah, there's nothing bad about that at all. Canada becomes a global empire. That's never gonna happen, but donuts are illegal? Fuck you, no. Not for can. I'm not losing my donuts for the sake of Canada. I like donuts, I don't have them that much, but I I'd want the option at least. You can see through walls, but uh, you can never see walls at all, making navigating difficult. So, what, would I just be sitting and, like, I would just see dirt all around me, I guess? Because I'm in a basement. That'd be weird. <sighs> mm, nah, nah, that's too inconvenient. I'd be bumping into shit. That wouldn't be fun. Uh, everyone gives you a gift every day, but it's the same gift. Depends on the gift. If they're, like, handing me iPhones and iPads every day, or, or iPad, then I could just keep selling them and just make a business out of it. But if it's the same gift, so let's, okay, so let's say expensive item, I, like a place, someone gives me a PlayStation 4 every day. Does that mean they're gonna keep giving me PlayStation 4s 30 years down the line? Yeah, it does, right? So that means they would degrade in value and eventually, huh. But you probably get a good living. I'm sure, why not? You can probably get a good living out of that for a while. Or it should be money. If it was money, that would be a real. That would be really good. Uh, any Pokemon you want will become real. I guess everyone's standard answer is probably going to be Pikachu, right? Like I would think. You have to treat it with the same amount of respect you would treat any animal, or it would vanish. Well, who doesn't respect the animal? Like I'm not. I'm not, like, kicking my dog. I feed him. Like, when he's bad, I put him in his cage. That means I'm, that's... Re like, I'm re still respecting him. I just don't want him to break my shit. So, sure, why not? You make $800,000 a year. Now, that sounds good. But you have to work at McDonald's cash register for the rest... Fucking, it's $800,000! 
I'd pave driveways. Like, I would do anything for that salary. Like, oh, well, you, you just work at McDonald's all the time? I own a fucking toilet made of gold. Like, deal with it. It's fine. Uh, you can perform a perfect genocide. But you have to do it every year until I'm just gonna... I'm not touching that with an eight-foot pole. You become a <laughs> cat, so I just shoot rainbows out of my ass all the time. But you have to shoot... <laughs> I, did... <laughs> I didn't actually read the second part when I said that. No thanks, I'm good. Rainbows are nice and all, but like... Every once in a while. Uh, you will have the greatest, kindest, most loyal and attractive lover to ever exist. But you can never satisfy them... And they will always say, at least you tried afterwards. I mean, I'm a... I'm a lover. I'm a, I'm a giver. So I feel like, eventually, that would get really discouraging. No. No. I like approval too much, so I don't think that would work. Uh, you, uh, you saved the life of your future current soulmate, but you missed kill a hundred strangers. I was going to say, can I pick the strangers? But then they're not strangers, are they? But I don't know them. Right? Like, if... if My future current soulmate, I... I would presumably know and be close to. I don't know the strangers. They can't be anyone close to me or anyone I know, because they're strangers. I'm a monster. <laughs> so sure. Kind of a 50-50 split on that one. Pretty close. You become incredibly wealthy, and world hunger, AIDS, malaria, and poverty all cease to exist. You have to fund the relief with your newfound wealth, leaving you with less than what you started. So I'd be poorer than I am now. You can't get much poorer than I am right now. If anyone looked at my bank statement, they would just immediately feel sad for me. There'd be, like, arms of the angel playing over the, the picture. Um... But if I was so wealthy and so well-known and influential that I could cure hunger, AIDS, malaria, and poverty all by myself, wouldn't people then, like, donate to me or, like, help me out? I feel like that would eventually go in my favor. So, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? I feel like morally I'm all over the map at this point. You can become a world athlete and win gold in multiple Olympic events, but you must take an undetectable performance-enhancing drug to do it. It's undetected, so... Then no one's gonna know. Done. Sure. I'll cheat to win. No one can find out. Why not? That's 50-50 split. Once again, the human race is divided right down the middle. I'll do, uh... I'd say three more of these, and we'll call it a video. Uh, you become incredibly popular and liked in your workplace. I feel like I've already got that nailed down. But everybody gets your name wrong 100% of the time. So, like, Maddie would get my name wrong sometimes. Why not? Sure. I don't care that much. It's really not that big a deal to me. You can get anything for free, but every weirdo in the world would be attracted to you and would follow you around, and you couldn't do anything about it. Now, would they just follow me? If they just followed, like if I just opened the door and there was a row or a crowd, like Woodstock crowd of weird people, but they just parted, they didn't talk to me, they didn't touch me, then it wouldn't really get in the way. Have them hold my shit, all the free stuff I'm getting. Why not? Sure, I'll do it. A lot of, I'm surprised how many of these questions have like a pre... This is like... A better split than Telltale games usually get. All your friends will be rich, but you will be poor and they can't give you money. They can't give me money, but they can still give me shit. They can give me... I don't mean... Sh I don't mean... They can give me valuables and stuff. It just says money. So they can't hand me a hundred dollar bill. They could hand me gift cards. They could hand me electronics. They could hand me food. So... They could hand me a house. They could hand me a car. So, haha, -ha, loophole. Deal with it. But, Mo, you see the 66 people who didn't press the button, they didn't think it through. They, they just, 
They took it at face value. They didn't read the wording. It's been very important. It's like a contract. So, guys, that was uh, a little bit of willyoupressthebutton.com. I'm curious what people will think of my moral compass at this point, because sometimes I went for the greater good, sometimes I was really selfish, but I guess it just makes me human in the grand scheme. I'm curious what you guys thought of uh, my answers. It's just fun. I think it's fun to do these and just talk out like what you what you think you would do and uh, come to your own reasoning and your own logic. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you, I, I want to know, like, go through the questions yourselves. Let me know what you guys would decide, if you agree with me or not. And uh, if you liked the video, then please hit the like button to let me know. Leave uh, the aforementioned comment about the questions and your opinions and anything like that. And uh, if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, then subscribe to the channel for more. So, see you guys later.